Hi, my name is Trevi. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six Feet Above. <clears throat> and again, we nailed it. And again, here we are in okay. Beverly Hoyles. You look great. You look great. Okay, thank you. I'm loving the euphoria. Yeah, well, so I dressed as a Greek goddess for those that don't know because... Yanni. So, tr- so triggering. <laughs> um, because I literally didn't even think of him. Um, because Meg and Charlie, XEX, okay. and Meg the Stallion came out with new songs this week. And they make me feel like such a goddess. So right. I was like, and you're Greek. let me. And I'm Greek. Yeah, 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 so I was yeah, like, yeah. let's really like dive into that. Right. And channel it. So okay. it's been a good week. So I was feeling really um, heterosexual. I was feeling really straight. Gross. So I straightened my hair. And I love the way it looks. Really? Thank you. I've always told you. I was like, I want to see it straight. I am actually quite enjoying it. It's just, um, it's a lot because my hair does get naturally curly if I get like wet or sweat. Mm. So they got to have like a wireless like flat iron. Just throw my purse just in case I got a little doozy. Wait, we should invent that. uh, I'm like tired of not being a millionaire I, You know what this reminds me of? What? The glitter. It reminds me of me at the sober living when I didn't know how to do an eyeshadow. Okay, am I like low key channeling glitter and poncho? You are channeling glitter and poncho boots. But here's the thing you went like real artistic with it. Like I can mm. tell, like you did it on the eyebrows and you like right. winged it out. Right, put it in my, yeah. It's like the more, I mean, I don't even want to say like refined version because glitter and say poncho it. was just, <laughs> say it out loud. No, because it, it was like such an era and no one can top that. I right. think this is just my homage to you. It is your, it, it is your, you upcycled. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. bring me back, but don't. At the same time. You Ever. Know? Yeah. Kind of begging. So Kind of literally begging. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube and you're trying to fall asleep or you're driving, you just want to listen to the audio, head on over to the description for the audio version. And guys, we're getting more views than we have subscribers. So if you're seeing this, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. It's actually bonkers. Um, I need you there. I we're need begging. you there. So do that, and then you can also follow our Instagram and TikTok in the description. We're always posting on there. Me and Kate share the account, so yeah. it's us, and it's real, and it's true, and we love you. Pull up. How was your week? Was it good? Nope. What, what you about do? you? <laughs> I just got back from Cabo. <gasps> okay, yeah. Yeah. So, we going to talk about that now, or? We can, we can dive into it. I really don't think that um, I have too much lore besides hooking up with, like, a 43-year-old, but... And we're going to get into that. Right. But I just... My roommate was like, is Trevi in Cabo literally every week? I was like, yeah. No, I because the, <laughs> the last time I was actually there was last night. Like, that was a whole year I, ago. I don't know why I feel like you're in Cabo actually every week. <sighs> and that's the kind of energy I want to give. I want to give yeah, Jet yeah, yeah, Center. Yeah, yeah. I want to give... You do. She's always traveling and she's traveling for work. And you literally do. She, she lives and she makes money by living. <laughs> so. And that's, that's the energy me and you give. Yeah. Because you know what? This podcast is essentially us... Just like living, talking, breathing, and we right. love to do it. Yeah. And we're getting paid for it. Right. Essentially. <laughs> In a it's, way. I'm like, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, the money's not here yet, but like, it basically is. No, no, no. Is but the, but the, return, the return and like the, the things that we're working on right now, like, yeah. I know we are slaying boots. And yeah. um, we got, before I get into Cabo, we got like someone reached out to us from a venue out here in. Yes. LA. What's that? We're in LA. Yeah. In Venice. In Venice. Really, really nice, like very nice venue. But yeah, they want us to do a live show. They want us to do a live show or they want us would to do you like, come? Like, like, like a panel. Like, would yeah. you guys come? I almost want to like know. either comment below. I, I feel like I need like actual substance of um, people. I think I'm going to. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a link in the description of like a little kind of almost questionnaire. Like, please just fill it out because it'll help us a lot. And just put, like, where you are, like, if you'd come to a show. Mm-hmm. And I want to see how many people are in L.A. And I also want to see how many other people are in right. different parts of the country. For when we do tour. For when we do tour. Right. Because that's going to happen. Because 1,000% it's going to happen. Yeah. I don't care if we're doing 50 person venues we're gonna go around the vlog well, that, that i mean sounds crazy to me already what i mean 50 people is crazy that's I mean, 100 think, views is think crazy. about 50 <laughs> people in this room right now i sh- my pants i'd be wait no because i'm kind of down and every single like our average on our podcast like it's like a stadium or two watching Whoa. so think about that we're like literally doing the Eras tour <laughs> like when like you every put time it, every yeah, week when you put it like that when you put it like that I, way I really i'm doing the Eras tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah i hear it um, but yeah, so comment below or like just fill out that form and let me know that you are in LA and would come to our show, vice versa. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Love it. Whew. 
Oh, okay. So Cuabo. Um, I went there. We stayed in a house called Villa Renata, and it's one of the most gorgeous houses out there. Our friend, wow. one of our best friends, Renata, mm. her family like owns the house. Oh, she's got money. Bah. Oof. Bah. No, we love Renata, and like every she's yeah, like I love her. she's like the it girl of Cabo. So like, if you really? go, like, it's just you. I feel like you've met her like out with me. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you have, but I love her and I love her family and we had such a great time at the house. Cute. Here's the one thing though. Staying in a house is so fun, so gorge, so yeah. slay. And like love to swim. I love my friends. But God, I just like the amount of times I wanted to just like walk outside and like walk down to like the main area and get like a quesadilla or like a Red Bull or like right. and it was 10, 15 minutes away from that main like l- like it was just a neighborhood like kind of just in the middle of Cabo like in nowhere. Okay, so stranded. And you had to Uber every single time. Was it expensive? No. No. Yeah. It, it, it was like if you had to go like 30 minutes away, it was like 10 bucks. I love La Pharmacy. I got so many antibiotics. I snuck antibiotics over the border just in That's case I get so genius. Yeah, just I in need case UTI anything happens. And yeah. guess what else I got? I snuck back uh, Tretinoin. No way. Yeah, I've because, been wanting to get that. Yeah, I'll give you a pee. I'll give you like a little dollop if you Thank ever need you. one. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm getting older. I just want to like resurface. Like, yeah. I know like this looks like I don't have, like I do. Like this is, my Botox is fading and I have a lot of setting powder on. No, you're perfect. And we're in box lighting. Like I got setting powder for the first time ever. Changes. And foundation. I was like, like, do you have baking you, powder? And what, he scoffed. What are you baking powder? It's uh, hilarious. So stupid. You're like but, you're baking soda. Yeah, <laughs> but he like did my makeup there, and I was like, this is kind of changing everything. The what setting did you get? Powder, Givenchy. You got Givenchy. Is that bad? It's a great. It's a great setting powder. You just don't need to smell that, smell that much. Well, he suggested it. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like, Gay suggested yeah. it at the Sephora. <laughs> Most expensive one. I was like, okay. Yeah. No. No. Uh, GHP is not. Givenchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got that too. I got that too. No, no, it's so good. Yeah. Um, and then for the foundation, tell me, um, tell me. I'm actually so glad you asked. I forget, but I got House Labs Lady Gaga bronzer. Uh, anything House Labs? The bri- She's so it's, good. It's so good. Right now, I'm wearing a mix of. I've been mixing. I do like two pumps of the Mac Studio Radiance, mm-hmm. which I actually fell in love with. Okay. Um, like regardless of the partnership, like actually, I'm obsessed with it. And then I do another pump of the Makeup Forever HD. I blend them and then I do it. It's everything. Dude, foundation really changes things. And you just you just sometimes need like a spruce. A spruce. It yeah. just evens it out, makes you look yeah. more alive. I I'm like what have I been doing? Live for foundation, but at the end of the day, I I also do love like a tinted moisturizer. Mm. I just think evening out a complexion and adding in some like color right. here always. And Always. the lightening of the eyes with the powder. I mean, I'm really aghast by this. No, yeah, like, and and I'm I, if it. you and I know they've asked because we've brought it up like many, many, many right. moons ago. But I would die for a get ready with us. Please. Doesn't even have to be an, a podcast episode. We could just film it and upload it on this channel. No, I we could really put, go in front that. of my vanity at my house. Yeah, literally stick my iPhone against the Please. mirror and just like gig and got. And you can give me tips. Yes, <sighs> easily, guys. Okay, that's happening. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to um. You know, go get the quesadilla. And we barely, like, the quesadilla, just one uno. I'm, like, so hungry now. Um, It was just, like, hard because it was a whole journey. Like, everyone's leaving the house. And yeah. just, um, there was also people that were, like, at Cabo the same time as me. That was a co- complete coincidence that I just, like, did not want to run into. Oh, my God. Did you run into them? No, thankfully. Um, yes. But, yeah, we, like, also just barely went out. I don't know. I think it was just very, it was very, like, lay and rot. No partying? I mean, I took many, many shots. You're right, but, but like, no, there was. I the mean, day. there was partying a lot. Like, it was our friend Ty Collins' birthday, and we just, I guess, partied at the house. Like, there was okay. music playing. Everyone was drinking, lots of drinking. Um, oh my god, I love that. Yeah, That's no, so it fun. was actually, it was, it was, it wasn't like freaky or anything. Like, it was. I'm like, it was a big enough house where I could walk away and just, right. like, you know, go live in another world. Mm. No, but um, once again, I feel like it was just really nice to have. Tina there, sober. Oh, she was still sober. Me. Yeah, and her okay. boyfriend, Makawa, is there, and he like doesn't do anything, so he's just like, he's like normal, like smoked a joint. I'm just like, hey, okay. You're like, so, what's that like? Yeah, no, because literally, um, but it was nice. I I actually really enjoyed it. I kind of am begging to go back again, like in a month. And you will, but we'll talk about that. Later yeah, <laughs> because you're coming. Oh my god, I'd love to. I would just. Would you I, see your man again? Okay, who's this n- man? How'd you I meet just, him? I, 
You don't want to talk I don't about even, it? You know what? I just have so many, like, I just wanted to have, like, a moment in Cabo. And, like, I guess I got my moment. Mm-hmm. He was hot. He was older. He was seasoned. He, but yeah, but he doesn't, he he looked like, like, he took care of himself. And it was, you know. It was Botox? Hot. No, no, no. Okay. Just, like, looked like a, like a fully developed, like, fucking mm. ball. It was like, man. Oh, I you love You know what I mean? Developed. It was just, like, was just giving straight up, man. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm like, love when g- they give men. No, I love when they don't give, like, actual, like, Barney's, like, <laughs> glitter on your eyes, but you're straight. Uh, literally me as fuck. I'm like, why are we feminizing men? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm like, what are they putting in the water these days? For honest truth, gag realness, like, it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, he said he was 6'2". Okay. Liar. No, no, no. I think a, a inch lie Stop. is fine. I don't even care. Like, remember we talked about this? Like, when, when I see a person in real yeah. life, like, I actually don't really care. I'll you absolutely care. I, I, listen, <laughs> like, if I'm seeing someone that's, like, actually hot, and I'm like, oh, I could, like, toss that one up. It's not my number one priority. Okay? Right. It is. Um, <laughs> I'm not I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, but, like, honestly. <laughs> Lowest of Listen, genius. listen, listen, listen. So. I'm listening. I'm expecting this six two like man. I'm like in a bikini. Like I was just very oh God, beach so makeup. Hot. My waves like I looked incredible. Spring yeah. time was fresh. Like da la la la. And I'm six foot through and through. Mm. Like I'm on a podcast called Six Feet Above with another like, bitch called Six Feet. Where's the lie? Another bitch called Six Feet. Right. Another bitch, yeah. that's, another bitch that's six foot. Okay. So through and through, like that's my truth. Like look at my mm. look at my ID. Like look at it all. Yes. This man comes waltzing in at a. Whopping 5'9". Shut up. Maybe 5'10". Maybe, maybe, maybe. Why do men do this? I don't understand. Because you, you're going to be found out. You're going to, like... You're going to get got. Literally. Yeah. The GGG. Yeah. Gun get got. Fully. Yeah, yeah. G- 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 so when you, like, showed up, did you give him the, like, up and down? I gave him the... He hi. threw up. Well, first of all, he was so rich. Like, I don't know how. I don't know what his tea was. That adds inches. Yeah, yeah. It does add inches mm. if he... Wouldn't shut the f- up. Like if he would shut the f- up, like maybe oh, he would add no. like an old man with money who talks equals a- never shuts. F- up. No, no, no. Did like he would ask me a question about me and he'd be like, "Where are you from?" And I'd be like, "Oh, I'm from like San Diego." And he'd be like, "Okay, that's cool." So we're literally, like, they're like, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, shut the f- like, like, talk, like talk. pretending to care, but then like constantly just." F- Oh my god, yapping. that's horrible! And their eyes glaze over when you start talking, and you're like, "What? What am I even doing?" Yeah. And I told him multiple times that I didn't drink. He came over with this, like, I don't even know. I didn't even look up the price because I just know that it was expensive. But this fucking nice-ass bottle of French sparkling fucking wine. Okay. okay? After I told him that I don't drink, he's like, oh, I just didn't want to come empty-handed. Maybe your friends want it. I'm just like, dude, you're here for me. Like, I don't know. You're just doing the most. Like, like the most. Not listening to you. Just like dries me up like crazy no no no. because i was actual you could knock right. on me i was like concrete i don't get it why do the, the old men love to talk and it's like talk after talk after talk and then you say one thing and they're like they're like oh my god i actually have a hilarious story about that and I'm right like, and then it's like oh that's crazy i don't remember asking the ratio was like four cool. to one and i'm yeah i'm like the one they get like the four right i'm like where's like two plus two equals four but not really no. <laughs> and i'm glad you mentioned <laughs> that i'm really glad you, you mentioned, mentioned that. that yeah anyway so we like hook up. It was just like pretty casual. Was it good? Obviously, it was all right. Okay. I like obviously didn't come because I'm just a little prude. Bit, but yeah. It's not even that late. Like it was a Saturday in Cabo. Like it was like 1230, maybe one. Okay. It was actually 1230. I remember vividly now. And he looks at me. He's like, ah. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, he, you look a little too mother- comfortable, buddy. Oh, God. But you look a little mother comfortable he's gonna sleep there and i and i pull one of these and i'm never one to do one of these because right. i feel like people normally get the memo like i'm like yeah. i get cozy i lay there like i just yeah. like kind of look away i'm on my phone you're like so what are you doing tomorrow no no i just look at him i go so it should like not take you that long to get home right <laughs> so <laughs> i was good. super i'm That's like because there's just like no traffic right like how long does it typically take you to get home right yeah now? and he goes oh i was thinking i could crash here and leave early <gasps> No, because oh. the old men snore. No, because old men snore. They talk until they start old snoring. Old men snore and try to take advantage of the floor. Uh, I literally tattoo that <laughs> on my lower back. I want that across my chest. Yeah, we should. Um, It was... Did he sleep there? Babe, 
I've never been so much of a in my life. Good. I have become, it's you that is help, that's helping me with this. Okay. Because I would have easily shrunk up like, oh, he has money. I'm like, right. guess what? Yeah, no. I got money too. Exactly. You don't scare me. And quite frankly, I'm in Villa Renata. This is 12 bedrooms. Yeah. You get the fuck out. Yeah, you should kill him. No, because what? here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't owe you shit. You Absolutely came not. to me because you wanted to meet me and right. hang out with me. Great, we hooked up. That mm-hmm. wasn't talked about. But you know what was definitely not talked about? Right. Was you sleeping in the same bed as me? Absolutely not. You Absolutely were thinking not. you could stay here. I don't get that shit. I'm like, why would you want to? And I, It's so oh, awkward yeah. in the morning. And like, I literally, I look at him and I go, yeah, sip your tea first because I don't, <laughs> I don't want you spitting shit out. Right. <laughs> I look at him and I go, that is optimistic. <laughs> right. And I go, you, that, that was something we did not talk about before. I feel like yeah. that's, that's something that should have been talked about beforehand because we didn't even talk about hooking up. It's you literally start talking like you're an HR. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, like, I love your optimism. I'm like, I love how optimistic you are. Um, yeah. But we've been getting complaints from... <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. So I need you to be on your best behavior and take the day off and go home. Exactly. Vibes out. <laughs> so anyway, I... He just looked like no one's ever said that to him in his right. entire life. Which is bonkers. I'm really glad that I said that. Me too. And, and he goes, I can sleep. There was like a couch in the room. He goes, I'll literally sleep on the couch. You're like, dude, go okay, home. I'm like, li- first of all, I love how desperate you are. Right. Second of all, I just, there's something so special about being on vacation in a big ass house mm. with my best friends right. in my own fucking room and my own music, falling asleep to my own podcast and my exactly. own bed. Exactly. Okay. Yes, and then oh my god, waking up to his morning breath. Your your aura Goodbye. in my room would just cause an uncomfortability that I yeah. that's just not needed. Yeah, you'd probably get sleep paralysis. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> so basically, um, I sent him home. Um, it was just, it was whatever. I just don't think that like you should act like that, especially on a first meet. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter how much it's money you make. It's so man coded. Just being like, oh yeah, like I deserve to be here, and I'm just gonna like take up all this space, and yeah. like I don't care how you feel about yeah. it. It is the older men though, right? The older men have Get so much it. audacity. Get into it. Kate. They have so many, ad- so many much. They so have much. so much audacity. They have so many stories. They have Too just many. like unlimited vocabulary in the worst way. Yeah, um, you're making up words. Or, yeah, no, literally. Um, I mean, as you guys know, I did date an old man, but this old man era of mine started in New York. And I remember one specific time I went on a date with a guy that was 57. And he was like, I want to take you to Carbone. And I was like, mine as well. And it was cool. I mean, he wouldn't shut the f- up the whole time. But there was one point where he like grabbed for the oysters and I looked at his hand and I saw like my grandfather's hand. Wow. And I was You're like, like, and that's how I joined the <laughs> Rockefeller family. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, what's his name? David really- Rockefeller, the guy that like won't die or didn't he finally die? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is like if I'm going to get like killed for saying this, but Will like you? apparently he just like ran like all, all the money in like the entire world. Like, so where's some, he up? He's, I think he's dead now. Oh, okay. But so it's true. that family, you know, the Rockefeller Center. Okay. In yeah. New York. Right. Anyway, that's just, you held his hand. That was you saw your yeah. grandpa's hand. And I was like, this is kind of crazy. But he was like, he was like, you should come to the Hamptons this weekend, like bring all your friends. And I just like, I couldn't do it. There right. was just like, it doesn't, literally, I've said this before, it doesn't matter if you're like, I'm going to take you on a Europe world tour. If you're like annoying and crusty and won't shut the f- up, I don't want to do anything with you. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Like, he just like story after story after story. And then I was like, oh, you have kids? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, they're 30. And I was like, that's kind of crazy. You're like, oh, you Yo, know, kids uh, yeah, are older than me. Older that's than really me. weird. That's really crazy. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, older men, cool in theory and practice. It's actually just like so boring. I have no connection with them. I'm probably going to go on a date with one, like, soon, but I'm going to hate the whole thing, so. Here's the thing. I do love, I love, like, a 30. Maybe, yeah. like, a, like, a, I don't know. But then they're still f- boys. <sighs> yeah, I, I think there's a, there's a, there's a sweet spot. I wouldn't go over, like, 42. Yeah, I wouldn't go over, like, 60. Like, for just like, hanging out, like, I just, 60. That's my cap. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, try not to be judgmental. No, no, no. I'm not being judgmental. They can be hot. No, no. But they're I, annoying. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen hot older men. Trust me. Trust <laughs> and me. you're like, and that's not your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Here's the thing that I've learned. I sometimes like the older men because 
they are more confident and they have kind of a direction of life. Mm-hmm. They normally are financially stable and mature. Yeah. Or more mature than 20s and maybe early 30s. But the problem with so many of them is that like, that what I've talked to is like, they still hold on to specific values that yeah. they were grown up in. So like conservative values. And it's like, yeah. I've said this over and over again. I don't judge what politics stance you are on. I do. But um, <laughs> I I don't think like involving me in it has anything to do with it. So yeah. it's like when they tell me, it's like, oh, my ex-wife would like shun me if she ever saw me with a trans girl. Like, I have oh two kids. Oh my ki-. God. Like, there's this one guy that I like was hanging out. He's like 35 or something. And he was just like, yeah, I have kids. Like I would never be seen in public with like like all my, because it's just, like all their friends are conservative. Like all their friends are on like this like train of hate with towards like trans people. And then it's like also like the younger ones, like in like the early 20s, it's just like, they're more open and progressive. And At least in my experience, some are, some are not. But like, then it's like, okay, you have no job. Yeah. You're barely making it. And they're just like, like they. Uh, w- what happened to courting? They want you to court <laughs> oh them. They, they don't want to do anything for you. <laughs> snap? You got snap? Y- you got snap. What? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Am I can... talking to a 12-year-old? It's crazy. It's crazy. I love snap. Don't get me wrong. I love to snap my friends. I love to post a snap. I love to make money on snap. Honey, mm. at the end of the day... If you're going to ask for my snap before be my IG or my number? That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. thought level 101. No. I, and it, you know what it is, though? It's organization of the hoes. Mm. Because you have all your hoes on snap. You see first, last name, any other picture they've ever sent you, and all their names lined up. And the thing is, you could take a hot selfie and right. send it to all of them at once. I know. It's, it's sinister. organization. Yeah. And I've fallen trapped to it. I mean, yeah, we all have. I haven't done snap in a hot minute, but... All I know is everyone's, 10, everyone's 30, horrible. Five, five, five. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all it's all pretty rough out there, but um yeah, I had something to say about older men. Oh well, yeah. When I'm with an older man, even though I'm there and I'm doing it, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why are you dating someone half your age, you sick bastard? Yeah, and then um, but then you're like, wait, why am I doing that? No, the, and then when I hear you talk about like, oh, like yeah, I hooked up with like a 40-year-old or something, I'm like, Jesus Christ. But meanwhile, I'm like, I would do the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like police. Gonna call the police. Oh, I'm like I'm like police, <laughs> police, police. Yeah. I'm just like it's terrifying, but um, should we know. move on? Yeah, I'm kind of begging. Kind of begging. Off chest. Off chest. Oh yeah, off chest. So this is the segment called Off Our Chest, where we rant or share something positive or negative uh, that happened to us this week. This boy might be might be watching. I. I think he's quite literally the love of my life. You didn't hear that. Yeah. Um, no, I just, this is the guy from the date in San Diego where he was just like really, from last week's episode where I was just like talking about how like special it was to me that like yeah. I was treated that way and he's still talking to me and he's great. And I, I mentioned that he was in the military, right? Mm-hmm. Did I mention that in the last episode or did I cut that out? I don't know. Okay, well, he is hot. Sue me. Um, is it a crime? And he's on. The ship, right? I'm not going to say what kind of military because I don't think that, like, I just don't want to. I, I want to yeah. be really, really careful with my words here. Right. Um, he was on the ship. One of these ships was walking around. And I think he's, like, one of, like, the the head people Oh, my there. God, that's hot. So he's got, like a, like, a team of people that he, like, oversees. And, like, the people below him, like, some of the people on the ship are girls, obviously, because, duh, we slay. We can do anything we want. Hello. Um... He said, ever since our date, he can't stop seeing, hearing, or, like, thinking of me. Okay, I made up the thinking part. But here's, <laughs> no, no, he, but he, he can't he, stop thinking he about actually, you. He actually said thinking, too, but it was a different it was a different thing. But anyway, yeah. so he's walking by. He's on the chef. He's doing his work. Wow. And he walks by two girls who are just talking about me in my videos. That is okay? so ideal. And he never told, he never, he didn't tell anyone he went on a date with me. He, that's, yeah. that's part of his work. That's separate. That's mm-hmm. separate than his personal yeah. life. Okay. And he texted me immediately. He's like, the weirdest thing just happened. And he oh just God. told me that that happened. Like, that they were just, like, laughing, gagging. Like, talking about, like, the video of, like, me and Tana getting, like, drunk wow. in Mexico. And I was like, that's funny. And, like, on top of it, I got noticed at the, the, um. Like, can you imagine anything so better funny. happening? I honestly. Like, to a guy God's that you like. God's timing. God's timing. Literally. So then number two happens. He just texted me this yesterday. He's, like, he's dog sitting at a friend's house or uh-huh. something. And this girl's like on her honeymoon or some some. Sh- 
he's dog sitting for like one of his like longtime friends, right? And he's like going on the YouTube on the TV. <laughs> All that's on the TV is me, like my videos. Oh my god. Me and the videos that Tana and I have done, Tana, and all of Six Feet Above. Hello! Our podcast. That like, is so crazy. There's a whole so section crazy. of just like all of that. Damn, he cannot escape you. And he's like, okay, this is starting to get really He's really like, I'm weird. literally dating Beyonce. This is crazy. And like in theory, people watching this are like, duh, like you have a presence online, like duh. But, but I think but the that's coincidence. So ideal. That's so of, ideal. It, I, the coincidence of like. He could, I have not seen him since that day, but he yeah. has seen me. And he's not going to forget and it. And he will not ever forget it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I just think that, I think that is just the funniest thing in the world. Dude, and the universe is on your side. Y'all need to keep telling your friends about this podcast. Yeah, keep putting it in your history just in case like a man that we like, like <laughs> happens to be dog sitting. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not kidding. Exactly. So I I'm think that that's, that's literally positive. Okay, my off my chest this week is I uh, really wanted something else egregious to happen to me so I didn't have to talk about this. But unfortunately, it's the worst thing that happened this week. I don't so. know this one yet, right? <laughs> No. Okay. So basically this week I, um, I've been talking to this guy, he's a comedian and he had a show and he was like, come to my show. So I went with my two roommates, Harper Rose and Gabby. Love them. And we show up to the show. It's cute or whatever. And, um, I'm like excited to see him. I've never seen him do stand up. And so he starts his set, and it's like, good, you know. Oh, mind you, he was inside me two days ago. Okay. I just want to make that very clear. Right. Um, so I was like, oh, my God, excited to see my man. Not actually my man, but um, he starts doing his stand-up, and he sees a girl in the crowd. Okay. Fine. Right. And he goes, oh, you dm me before to the girl. And then what? she's like, literally, she's just like hamming it up. She's like, ah! And he's like, oh, my God, you sent me so many emojis. Wait, we dm before. And then he was like, you're actually really hot like can we like hang out sometime was in front of me he was serious yes it was like i mean it was during a stand-up but it was like it was so serious and then he was like just like going in on it and he was like so like what's your what's your favorite position like blah blah, blah. like all this oh, stuff no. all this stuff gabby and harper rose are sitting next to me and they're just staring at me and my eyes like twitching and i'm like, ah, like Girl, i told you to give it up <laughs> I know. And then Harper Rose like leans over to Gabby and she goes, is Kate okay? And they're just looking at me and I'm like, ah, ha, 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 like literally trying nice. so hard to just like laugh and pretend I'm fine. That's and awful. I was like, it wouldn't stop. It went on for so long. And really? I was like, you literally, there was a finger somewhere inside me that was your finger. Right. It's just the, the other night. The disrespect. The disrespect. No, but what's so cool and crazy about this is that it actually gets worse. No. Um, yeah. So, so after good. the show... <laughs> After the show, we're, like, hanging out. And, like, honestly, I was, like, whatever. That's his stand-up. Like, he's going to do what he has to do to get laughs, even right. though it literally wasn't funny. Um, but so after the show, he comes up to us, like, me and my roommates, and we're, like, talking. He was, like, what would you think? I was, like, yeah, you know, it was a little silly, but it's fine. You said that? Yeah, I was, like, mm -hmm, it was good. Um, and then he was, like, yeah, that girl DM'd me, like, five times. It was crazy. And then he was, like, she's kind of hot, though, right? And I was, and like. To you? To you? Me. <laughs> to me. And I go, I couldn't even like put on the cool girl. What facade. the f did you say? I, I literally was like, oh, I actually think I tried to be a cool girl. And I was just like, yeah. Like I, I truly in that moment, I was like, am I in the twilight zone? Like what is happening? And then he was like, well, I got to go to my next show. It's the worst when you freeze up like it's that. The, I didn't know what to say. I was right. like, How, no, what I do know, you even say to that? It's so disrespectful. And then, so he goes, she's kind of hot, right? And I go, uh huh. Yeah, this is actually crazy. I'm going to. I was about to make a bad joke. Never mind. Cut. <laughs> um, I was like, that's actually crazy. You were just slide off the sewer. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to slide off the sewer. And then he was like, all right, well, I got to go to my next show. And I, the whole time he's talking to me, I see her staring at us. No. Like the girl, she's like a super fan. She was just like staring at him and just like wide eyed. And I was like, oh my God, I'm uncomfortable. So he's like, he's like, I got to go. He goes to the left three feet. And then he just starts talking to her in oh, front of me no. for 10 minutes in front of me. Jesus. I know. I was like, I literally what? never have sex. And then this happens. And I was just like, I couldn't. You I was talking talk to. Yeah. Sorry. Go. I, no, it's fine. I was talking to my roommate the whole time. And she goes, 
um, is this actually happening right now? And I said, that's actually crazy. I think it is. And um, <laughs> we need to leave. <laughs> no. And so we were both no. just like dumbfounded. And I'm annoyed we didn't stay because like there were hot guys there. But like I was just like so bemurfed and bemurfed and flustered yeah. that I was like, we got to go. So I'm just like driving home. Dry. Ving. Dry thing, and I'm just like dry heaving. Literally, I just like put on Megan the Stallion and I'm blasting it on the way Cobra. home, and I'm like speeding. <laughs> yeah. Cobra, yeah, yeah, Cobra. And I was just like, she was like, "You okay?" And then the next day, it like you know when it like hits you mm-hmm. how like mad you are about something, yeah. and I'm just seething. And I put on my fur coat. I go to the AA meeting that I lead, that I like host. And I just oh, like slave. show up, and I was like, "Who's ready to heal?" And I like sit down, <laughs> and I was like, "Everybody, sit down." And I was just like. Like so mad, and um, who's ready to? Hear? I need then, that. That's another merch thing. That's and, another merch. But thing. then I was like, I was just about to block him on everything. No, okay. But then I just like called him and I like told him I was like, dude, that like so wasn't cool, and he was like super apologetic. And then what? Mm. You're. Then I never saw him new again. <laughs> so never saw him what? again. And then now you guys are just cool again, even though you're not. No, um, that's what's crazy. So we like went out to dinner the next night. He was like, can we just, like, talk one more time before you end things? And he swooped me up again. He's good, but... Wait, really? Yeah, but here's the thing. Today, I talked to him, and I was like, this honestly isn't working for me. Like, I don't know what we're doing. Because, like, for women, it's, like, it's so much harder. For him, he's, like, a comedian. He travels. He can, like, meet a bunch of girls all the time. And it's, like, me, like, I don't date like that. And if I'm, like, talking to him, it's going to be harder for me to meet other people. It just is. Comedians are sluts, too. Like, They're male thoughts. comedians. Like, yeah, so, and, like, like... Matt Rife and Brooke, that whole situation. Yo, like, the girls at the end of the show, like, it's crazy. Yeah. They'll, like, flash their tits at them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn, a measly joke? Yeah. And you're just like going off. I mean, I can't talk because that's kind of what I'm doing. No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, it was really cool. I kind of want to experience it again. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I am so sorry. And they just the male species never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, it's like really effort. crazy. Why? Yeah. Yeah, and I should have listened to you from yeah. the job. <laughs> I, I, I just I don't I didn't think that this was an ideal situation. Um, yeah, it's certainly. And not. it's hard to want to like. It's hard. To keep things casual when you're a really sensitive, empathetic yeah. person. Like, like we I are. like, like him. I wish I could just casually, like, consistently hook up with one person. I can't. Yeah. It's not in our DNA. It's not in my DNA. We're and I just, like, like sensitive. I, I'll i just want, like, I'm like, oh. Like, so what about, like, movies and, like, cuddles now? Yeah. They're like, oh, so I got an idea for a movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got an idea for a movie. You Let's see that, that f- ring camera right there? Right. In front of it. I'm like, yeah, wait, what? Like, Where? It? Yeah. I'm just like, fucking bored. It just felt like shit. I'm fucking it bored. Just, I'm bored yeah. of these hoes and I'm bored of these men and I'm bored. I'm bored of it. It's lame. It's stupid. I'm just like, I don't deserve to feel that yeah. way ever. You don't. Yeah. You don't. And you know what? We should talk about something that's not about dating or men because we can get I'm our mind so, off I'm so over it. Yeah. I'm kind of begging. Yeah, literally. You mentally ill? Always. <laughs> okay, let's see. You ever get jealous? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should we talk about that? Absolutely. Okay. Tell me about um, any new mental illnesses pop their cute little head up for you lately? <laughs> I'm trying to make it positive. Like fucking Pun- Punxsutawney Phil Groundhog Day. Yeah. Just, just popping up to say hello. Six more weeks say of hey. winter. Exactly. <laughs> Six more weeks of seasonal depression. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, ha- I'm having like... Okay. I'm having like... And this is me being like really vulnerable. Okay. But I'm having like a uh, voice dysphoria a lot. Okay. Like I'm really just like I I'm just like actually overall pretty insecure again. It just it fluctuates. Like I know I look incredible, but right. then it's like I wonder why I'm like if I like look so good or I think I look so good, it's like, why am I alone? Here we are talking about dating again. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know it's so real. I I just like and I and I don't ever I don't look good or I don't want to look good for the male gaze. I like I want to look good for the male gaze. For the male gaze, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Right. I want <laughs> to look good for me and yeah. I do look good for me and I do take care of myself and always like put myself together when I leave the house. But sometimes I just get really confused cuz I'm like am I lying to myself? Like am I being delusional? And it's yeah. like I just the whole trans thing is just it's it's just been me again lately and it's, I know it comes in waves and whatever and I've been like shedding some pounds apparently and like I can see it on my face and it's like 
I feel like I'm like my like I just feel like I look so masculine. Oh my god! And I'm just like it's so weird. Like sometimes, yeah. like some of the times that I look in the mirror and it's just like, I don't know. I'm just like having like a dysphoria moment. Mm-hmm. My depression's okay. Okay. Um, like just because I got a lot of like vitamin D and like, you know, traveled, hung out with my friends, like did the whole San Diego with my mom. Like that's mm-hmm. a lot better. Anxiety's better. But I think that's like my big thing right now. I think I'm just like kind of insecure. Yeah, I feel like people don't talk about the fact that like, so you have been like working out and eating healthy. You have like lost some weight and people don't talk about the fact that when you do lose weight, there's like a layer of insecurity that comes with that. I feel like people just expect you to be like, oh my God, I feel amazing, blah, blah, blah. But it's like you like when your body changes, whether it's like gaining weight or losing weight, like there is some type of dysphoria that comes with it without a doubt. And dysmorphia. Right. Like it is, uh, it is interesting because it's just, I don't know. I feel like this is like, just a new phase for me and I'm just entering it in entering it gracefully <laughs> you are you're slaying but it's hard and have you noticed that people I mean for me like I lost weight during the pandemic and I remember like the way men treated me was like night and day have you noticed that because that kind yeah. of f- me up so in in person I it, it's it's a lot different now and I've there's a lot like now that I'm like comfortable like Posting my body, like posting in a bikini, like posting all this. Shit. It's like right. all these people who ghosted me are like coming right. back, and I'm just like, it just makes you like, resentful. It just makes shit ridiculous. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, but it's weird. Like in person, I, I mean, I also haven't really been going out at all. Um, oh, I've also been like scared of wearing heels in public. Like that's another mental illness. Interesting. And I'm like normally like a heels. Bitch or die. You've always been a heels. Bitch. I'm always just like I think I'm like done being like the tallest bitch in the room. Okay. I mean, like I think at least be. I'm just like taking a break right now. Like I'll wear I'll wear heels for like set and like, right. filming the pod because it's like cute and hot and fun. But yeah, I think that's all part of like yeah. you know feeling like I stand out in a bad way, and it's all part of the the journey. It comes in waves. Does anything like specifically trigger it? You think, or is it just wave men. city men? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Sam. Yeah, that's and the that's realest so, thing I've ever heard. I hate that we're talking about like. Benefit. I mean, listen, it's part of life. It is part of life, but it's like I. It's not. It actually, truthfully, like, if I just had someone, like, it's not like my number one focus. It's just annoying because these people keep coming into my life with like saying they have intentions and they're just like shit on it. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm not boy crazy. I just want one person to be like there for me, like yeah. in that way. Like, I'm just, like, I, that's all I want. Like, I I work. I do my f***ing shit that I have to f***ing do. I live my life. Yeah. And that's just, like, the one part that's missing. Right. So, obviously, I'm going to, like, entertain it. hmm Because I feel like there's a lot of shit that is in my life that's, like, aligned finally and, like, doing well. hmm And that's just the one part where I'm, like, okay, I guess I'll entertain it. And then they shit me. And then I'm, like, what yeah. is wrong with me? So, I mean, what, is it what I look like? Is it what I sound like? Is yeah. it how tall I am? It's, like, all this shit. And I'm, like, yeah, we always go to the way we look but let me tell you not to quote our friend but he's looking for you your man who's our friend joy Remember? she did say that. she said he's looking for you and i totally agree he's on a search for you we i love her i know oh, she's the best that almost made me cry yeah i mean it's true like you are so special and your man is looking for you before you go into your mental illness <laughs> Because I know it's going to be, you know, a long (laughs) So long. (laughs) Um, I finally started watching Baby Reindeer. And he dates a trans girl in the show. And sorry, spoiler. I mean, it's not really a spoiler. Everyone's seen it. Yeah, yeah. No, not kidding at all. Yeah. It's like our podcast. Um, So (laughs) he's dating a trans girl. And he's just like, he admits that he's straight. And it's just something that he likes. But... It really taps in on, like, anything I've seen before of what it's like to date a trans woman from a men's perspective of mm-hmm. the shame and, like, the the paranoia, mm-hmm. the possible, like, judgment from friends right. paranoia, like, mm-hmm. all of that. And, like, the way that like they can, like, lie or, like, try to, like, keep themselves undercover. But it's, like, there's nothing wrong with it. But the way that the show encapsulates it is just very special. And I just really, really appreciate yeah, that that was put mainstream. But yeah, I've never like, seen anything like it. It's it, she was beautiful. The actress they had, she was beautiful. What I say today about her? You said that people <laughs> tell you you look like her. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, she's stunning. Sorry. Tell me how ill you are, uh, <laughs> sister. Um, 
That is crazy because that specific part of Baby Reindeer absolutely bemurfed me. I was like, oh, God. It's yeah. Crazy. He's hot. Do you think Richard Gatt is hot? Mm -hmm. I know, right? Um, so I think a cute little thing that's been happening with me lately in the past like six months or so. I fear I have PMDD. Like, okay, I don't know if I have it, but so PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, is when you get like super depressed and moody, like. You say premenstrual? Oh, I thought you said premenopausal. No. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I, I'm like, I was just thinking of the. No, that's the people I date. I don't know what's happening, but before I get my period and during it, and I mean, this whole thing with the comedian happened during my period, which was like a really nice little extra pizzazz. I, like, ball my eyes out. Like, literally last week I had my period when we recorded. I'm driving home. Just start bawling. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm, I mean, like, you were crying on the podcast. Oh, right. Twice. <laughs> I thought about that. <laughs> um, but those are, like, kind of happy tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but it's, like, you're obviously, like, hyper emotional. Right. So, like, so, and it's, like, never been this bad. And, like, the other day I was just, like, in my bed crying. And my roommate comes in and she's just, like, what the hell? And I was, like, I hate everyone in L.A. Like, everyone's fake. Like, I'm moving back to New York. Like, no. I, I really thought that. Because I've been, like, FaceTiming with, like, friends in New York lately and, like, getting nostalgic but is that why you're going back literally i'm never moving back there um no i've had that plan to go to new york for like a while wait i hope um, you don't think i'm fake literally i like went to like this thing the other day and everyone was just like so mean and i think it just right. like triggered me but like obviously i'm like you are like such a big reason that I love LA and that okay. I want to stay here forever. I know I, can be I can. I know I can be a materialistic like diva. No, but you're like so and like sweet and fun. Like I um, would actually do anything. You're like you're, you're very know. real. You're extremely I would real. Literally, like do anything for you. No kidding. No, yeah, you're my bitch. But you know, like sometimes LA when yes. you're like here too long, it can be like it's like a night at Barney's. It's it, like I'll, yeah. I'll like go home and I'm like I actually right. I go, I have not been in months and I'm. Thankfully so. Yeah. And that's maybe why my, my like depression's gone away. Yeah. It's 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 a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Like and I like love LA and I love the people here, but I don't know, like anything was just like making me sad. So I don't really don't know what's going on with that. If anyone has suggestions, I mean I could probably look it up. But look how much you've accomplished in a year yeah, is no, what I'm saying. That's just the thing. That's there. why like I'm like, there must be something wrong with me around my period because like I am so happy here and I'm doing everything right. I've ever wanted to do. And I felt so stuck and depressed in New York. Yes. So I think so. I just like, you know, you like miss and glamorize it. But I think it's also like something's wrong with this like period situation because yeah. why am I bawling my eyes out? I mean, I guess um, like my only advice for you is like if you really think that there's like a estrogen imbalance or something, you just go get your blood taken. Yeah. I have to go get mine taken um, like ASAP. So if you want to just go to together, do it together. Yeah. yeah I'll literally. <laughs> I really go. need to. No, okay, I'm not kidding. I have yeah. to go or else they will not give me my hormones. So okay, like just yeah. come with me. So let's do it. Okay, problem solved. Problem solved. I think we're perfect, and yeah. I'm the most beautiful woman that's ever been born on the planet. Earth, it's literally and I true. Was born <laughs> what? Period. Period. Yeah. What else yeah. do we have? Oh, law. The law. You ever get jealous? You ever get jealous? You ever break the law? You ever break the? You ever break the law? Tell me. Have you? Like yeah. Have you? Fully. Tell me. Have you ever gotten in trouble with the law? Almost. I like sniffed it, but I ran away from the police. Actually ran? Yeah. Like hid in a bush and then threw up in the bush. If that's You're not relatable. Lying. Yeah. Really? They showed up to a party I was at and I was like sitting in the backyard chugging from a handle, which is like so deeply bizarre. Um, but he goes, well, 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 looks like we're at a party or like looks like we're partying or something, this policeman. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. And I just like threw the handle and I ran. And then I, the handles, I was though. like, yeah. And then I was running down the street. And I literally remember thinking I was Usain Bolt, like going so fast. I was probably going like two miles an hour. Not kidding and then I see a like local bush and I just local dive. Bush. <laughs> I dive into it and I'm hiding from the police and I'm like yakking in the bush. And I was like, this is glamorous. And I'm going to keep drinking for the rest of my life. <laughs> Because I love it. I love but, that. Um, That's gorgeous. Yeah. And apparently a bunch of people got, like, arrested that night. Really? Yeah, you were, I, Like, you never got, like, sued? You never got, like... like oh, I was in a... Yeah, like, I... court cases? I was in a court case for, like, a year. Um, you mind sharing, or is it not? <laughs> it was, uh... It was Who'd allegedly... Who'd you punch? Yeah. <laughs> no, weirdly enough, I was sober. It was um, allegedly with, like, a company that I was working with that um, wouldn't let me get out of a contract. 
got really messy. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know if I can talk about it. Yeah, but you don't have to. just know that I'm traumatized from contracts. And I hate them. So, so, but here's a really, really sad thing. They're going to be with you for the rest of your career. I know. Yeah. And like, if I want to work in this, I'm But you like, just got to get a good lawyer. You got to get a good contract, honey. Why can't everyone just be nice? <laughs> <laughs> Like, just Baby, don't sue me. Business is business. Like what I do, God. No, yeah. I I just remember one time, I made a YouTube story time about this like years ago, but I was on the beach. I was like 16, 17 years old maybe. Um, and it was like a thing in Marina Del Rey. My friends were like, come on down. Like we're all just like chilling. Like we have snacks. We have like, there wasn't white claws at the time. That wasn't a thing. There was, um, oh, it was like, Strawberitas Ooh, and like Limeritas and Mike's Hard. Like, remember those? Yeah. Like before oh, the white qualification. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, those were lit. And like, I was 16, 17. So I was oh like, well, what was I going to do? I had a headache. No, babe. I was going to like the yak power the next no, day. Was, when you're 16, babe, you could, you could f-ing drink the entire butt chug that shit. You could butt chug it and yeah. come up feeling better than I was. Literally. Day. You could do a backflip. God, I miss doing that. I miss just drinking so goddamn much, waking up and laughing about it instead of feeling like I'm going to have a seizure. I literally can't believe I ever didn't get a hangover. What? You know what I mean? <laughs> like when you were like 16. Oh, I would I wake up like, being like, I, I was could, like, wait, huh? Yeah. I'm like, really the Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why aren't you drinking right now? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Why are <laughs> Should we? Anyways, go on. Um, so I'm there, I'm drinking my strawberita. I mean, we're like on the beach and it like seemed like it was okay to drink on the beach. Um, apparently it wasn't. I'm with like seven people. Um, and the cops pull up and they're a little like ATV or like they're off-roading. Like get a life. No, like actually like get a life. Cause it was sunset. It was a group of friends. We weren't causing any harm. We were eating like, snacks. We were on a blanket. Like okay. we're. Yeah. Like couldn't be more wholesome. I'm like, I mean like granted I was 16. <laughs> And you're like, granted, I was <laughs> granted, I was chugging underage. a strawberry. Yeah, yeah, not kidding. That's like um, fine though. And they come to the area, and they're just like, well, 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 basically. And they're like, everyone, line up. And they're getting everyone's information. You can't be drinking on the beach. It's illegal. I fear that you are. Some of you are underage. Like blah blah blah. blah. I fear. I know, I, <laughs> That's I what believe, he said. I believe me. He's that. like slay. No, but, um, <laughs> everyone. He gets everyone's information, and we're all, like, lined up against the fucking cop car on the sand, so, kind of, like, slay. Right? He was like, all right, I'm going to breathalyze every single one of you, and I have to get a physical yes out of you to breathalyze you. So oh. everyone, he goes down the line, and they're like, yes, 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 yes. And I drank, and I was so afraid because I was 16 right. that if I got caught drinking— I would get in big trouble. Mm-hmm. So I said no. Okay, what, bold. No, why <laughs> the f- did I say no? That makes me look like the most suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Sixteen-year-old, you don't. I, that's the thing. I would do the 16 same thing. Sixteen-year-olds are so f- thing. dumb, and I was so f- dumb. Yeah. And I go no. So then I get a whole f- ticket. I have to go to court against this f- police no. officer. Okay. I call my mom. My dad stop him. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> And um, like six months later or something, I show up to the courthouse. Oh my god, he does show up. Okay, so the cop get sho- a life. The cop shows up. Like imagine being like an officer. It was in Van Nuys. Okay, he was a part of like the Marina Del Rey police. Dude, it's not that deep. Him driving from Marina Del Rey to Van Nuys. First of all, he's that trapped. passionate. I'm like, you are desperate and so want to me, you weird. Pedo. No, li- literally, he's a pedophile. Yeah, yeah. So not kidding. My <sighs> dad comes with me to court. He's my you know lawyer. Okay. No, yeah, he was just there for support. And he's like, what did you see? Did you see her drink? And he's like, well, there was a red cup in front of her. And well, yeah. He didn't actually breathalyze me, but he did give me a ticket under suspicion that I was. Right. right? So he shows up. He goes, what's your proof? There's no breathalyze of me. He didn't see me drink. <gasps> and the red solo cup of the margarita or the limerita, the strawberry thing, was on the sand in front of me. Could have been anybody else's. He goes, did you see her pick up the drink and drink it? He goes, well, but she denied the breathalyzer. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and she, she, all her friends were drinking. Yeah. And she, but is there? Do you have any evidence? Yeah. This is the judge. He's like, did did you see her drinking? He's like, well, I mean, it was in front of her. That's not good enough. Right. Banged the gong. Said you're free to go. Didn't get any community oh service. Oh my god, didn't amazing. Get anything. Baby, and I was hammered. Yeah. Hammered on the beach. Oh my god, he must have been so embarrassed. Yeah. He probably quit that day. I'm begging. Oh, speaking of the law. 
You ever fuck with a dealer? <laughs> <laughs> you are so god awful at segways. <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually too good. No, no, no. and I and I and it I should think be studied. I think you have. You are the only person that can do that. Like I'm the only person that thinks it's it, too good. Yeah, it's just too good. <laughs> what am I even saying? Just say dealer. Have you ever dated a dealer? Like a like a dealer dealer like a deal something. Deals that's such mind a niche. That's such a niche. Um, like experience. Yeah. And unfortunately, I fully have. I'm sorry. Consistently, and I literally think I like fell in love with him. And Ooh. that's like those are the best people to fall in love with. No, they're so it, loyal. They're... <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Literally saw him hitting on my best friend in front of me. Oh my god. Well, my old best friend. Ooh. Oh. But like. So comedian weirdo. coded. Weird, weird, weirdo. Yeah. But he was just like, it was giving like Joker, Harley Quinn. Like I was just like, I feel so. And I'm like, right. st- I'm sober. Like oh, I was, was recent. I was already like a year and a half, two years sober. Like, babe, yeah. what are you doing? Like right. you are like, obviously I didn't have any intention of like using or doing this. He was just really, really hot. Right. And I'll be honest, if you call me today, I'm my. Oh God. No, you know what? I'm going to say. I can't even talk. I, I can't even. Like ne- neither of us can talk. Let's just be silent. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need an entire hour long silent episode because yeah. I need to be shut the f- up. Same. I need to be shut the f- up. I need to be stopped. He was beautiful, and it was just a fabulous, fabulous like little fling that I had. And yeah, he, like he did not care if I lived or died. Yeah, that's the thing with these dealers. <laughs> they they don't really care, and they will literally hook up with your friend in front of you, and that's kind of crazy. Um, Is this a true story? Oh, yeah. Well, so my... Have you? Have you? Yeah, my oh, dealer... Uh, <laughs> this Mine was in sobriety, too. He came up to me on the street in New York, and he was so hot. He was a model. He had face tattoos, and he uh, had an OF. Oh. And so I, like, could find out what I was working with prior to hanging out with so him. I said, it? bingo. You bought it? Um, no, uh, no, my friend did. Oh. And we, like, looked at it in a no. bar together <laughs> oh, after he hit on me. And so, anyways, he was, like, so smooth a thing with these dealers they're like they got a lot of riz and he was like let me take you out for drinks and I was like I don't drink and he was like how about tea and I was like time and place and so we went out um (laughs) it was probably like the most egregious date I've ever been on he like sat right next to me and was just like in my face and I like started getting really awkward so I was like you got trauma and he was like yeah and then you, he, you like, <laughs> date topics. I can't. I you, what kind date of topics. You I just like didn't know what to say. Yeah. And then he like went into it, and the trauma was very real. And I was like, "Whoa, that's that's deep." Yeah. And then I was like, "You trying to get out of here?" And he was like, "Yeah." I'm literally back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite literally back. And in. then I was like trying to play hard to get. So I was like, "We're not gonna hook up." And so he was like, "Okay." And then three hours later, I was like, "Come over," because you know that's I, I want to make him wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you sent him home. I sent him and home. And you rang him back in. And again. I was like, let's hang out. And um, he came over. It was bad it was and bad. weird. He was just like, wow. there's like a sinister energy to so him. Good. There was yeah. And that's what I love. I love the sinister energy sometimes. I don't. It was too demonic. I was like, there's some, I mean, I'm not saying all, all no, dealers are not like this. Some I, of them, some of you are beautiful. Some of you are beautiful and talented <laughs> at what you do. No. Um, <laughs> what, what is the, the phalanges comment? You're special thriving and amazing. community. Yeah, it's a thriving community. I mean, they are a thriving no, community. I mean, but hey, yeah. it's a very dangerous one and it, I don't encourage yeah, yeah. it no, at all. Don't do it. And don't date them anyways. Yeah. But um, here's the thing. Sinister energy is... We all want what we can't have, and it's just like those guys that act like, like they're so nonchalant, so stoic, and yeah. they don't give a. F- yeah, he was like, mean. I'm like, I should hit him up. I miss him. But anyways, what's so crazy about this guy is like, I was on set a week later with this makeup artist, and I was like, we were talking about like guys, and I was like, yo, I hooked up with this guy. He's like a dealer. He is a model. He has face tattoos, and she goes, "Don't tell me it's," and says his name. Can I know his name? <laughs> Can I look at him? Yeah, it's like really embarrassing because you probably hooked up with him. What? Like he's hooked up with the whole world. Have you seen him? <laughs> oh my god! Have you seen him? No, but he's so hot. <laughs> I know. <gasps> but anyway, he Whoa! Is, uh, can you believe I hooked up? He's, That's so not my type. Wow, that is so my type. I know. So not your type. You at should all. slide into his DMs. He'll be really mean to you though. So wait, should I? Should I like his photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Wait, no, he's so mean though. Wait, why are we? We're trying to be better. <laughs> Okay, she just liked it. 
Oh my gosh, let me tell you, he's something else. Oh. But so what's so crazy is, so that makeup artist goes, don't tell me it's him. And I literally go, no, it's not him. I got really embarrassed. And then like two weeks later, my friend was like, she like knew who he was because I like showed her. I was like, oh my God, I hooked up with this guy. She was like, dude, he aggressively hit on me in Supreme. And I was like, in Supreme. In Supreme. Hilarious. And I was like, what the hell? And then like in LA, in LA yeah. like uh, six months ago, I was at an LA Fashion Week thing and he like walks by with another girl. And I was like, leave me alone. And I in just, LA? Like, no, he, I think he was just traveling. Whoa. He's a, he's a businessman. But anyways, I ran the f- away. Um, and I'll probably end up seeing him again someday, you know? And I'll pretend like I don't know him. Well, because I'm gonna be because you're dating bringing him, yeah. him around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, got I love that. <laughs> I mean, um, go ahead. No, 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 no. It's it's bad. I no, but it's cool that you've like finally found someone that I've hooked up with that you would hook up with. Because that's never yeah! happened. That is real. <laughs> that is real. And it's a dealer. <laughs> we're so embarrassing. We're like we're. I am just. Do not look at us as like the sobriety. <laughs> no, like, we're not role models. <laughs> do not look at us like the sobriety role models because yeah. I swear to God, if you are in early sobriety <laughs> and you start being a dealer, okay, and guess what? It wasn't early sobriety for me, so that's really cool. But uh, guess what? <laughs> but guess what? Guess who's still sober? But oh! us. Period. That was awful. That was so like it's actually embarrassing. God, I wonder if he's gonna slide into your DMs. You gotta tell me. I will. Okay. <laughs> um, questions. <laughs> Quite literally begging. Quite literally begging. <laughs> All right, we're going to hop into the unnamed segment where we answer your advice and queries sent into our Instagram at Six Feet Above Pod. I got a few messages asking, how do you send them in? Just follow that page and uh, we post when we're accepting the inquiries. And follow so, us. Follow up. Yeah, honestly, follow Kate and I too. Come on. Okay, so the first one is, how do I, as a gay, get over a straight man? Mm. Question um, of the year. Here's the thing. Straight men, because I've had both experience of, right. I did not enjoy my experience of being a guy. I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't love my experience experiences that I was having, obviously. Um, but I do understand this to a degree, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing about straight men, the ones that are like, for like, to like, that with gay people and like tease them or like that are just overly comfortable and like always i know so many like like there's already one straight guy that i can think of in la he always hangs out with this one gay guy Uh and he's just like the straightest guy ever but it's just like constantly hanging out with him like the best friends and it's just like so touchy and they're so flirty especially towards gay men it's almost like it's either like a like they just they love the attention from the gay men yeah or it's like b like they literally are low-key like hetero flexible mm-hmm. and they just like don't know how to express it in, an, right. in any other way but like breaking this poor person's heart right like it's it's really something that i've seen with straight men like a lot with a lot of my friends like the, gay men don't just like fall in love with straight men like just no, because they're straight all. like straight men will do things sometimes that like antagonizes them to like totally. or like gives them an idea right like there i can already think of like specific situations but it's a really, really difficult thing, and it's just, like, the the one thing Kate and I are probably just going to say over and over again about, like, how to get over someone or something is just, like, no contact. Like no, Yeah, that's no, honestly all you can do. That's all you can do. And, like, I've had, like, a lot of—I don't have experience with this. I mean, I do with straight men. But, like, I've had a lot of gay guys that—gay guy friends that were in love with straight men, and they were just, like— anytime I talked to them about it, they were like, I'm so not into that anymore— because I want someone that's into me and it all comes down to like self-respect. Yes. So it's like you need to work on that confidence, getting that self-respect up. Like you deserve someone that wants you, that is into you, and that isn't ashamed of it at all. Bare men. Bare minimum. So we just got to work on that confidence. Well, it's funny you say that because I was just looking at the next question and it's mm-hmm. how do I like get self-respect? And like mm. to, to quite quite frankly... <laughs> we're still figuring that out like no. <laughs> I, I have I have a lot of respect for myself no. in, yeah. in many different aspects of my life but some I I kind of let myself get dogged listen like we all do for me when it comes to self respect and self esteem like I just need to stick to my word something that I've discovered and like even like for example with this guy like this whole week has shown me that this man does not make me feel good it does not make yeah. me feel good and it is disrespectful to myself if I keep talking to him. It just is, like, point blank, period. Correct. And I have to yeah. be like, I. you need to put yourself first, and you need to stick to your word, like I'm saying. Like, if I say 
I'm not going to talk to this person anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. And then I go back on my word. It's just showing me that like my word doesn't mean and that I don't have self-respect. So it's just and stick it, to the word. Yes. But yeah. also it's it sucks because sometimes we acknowledge it. Like it's yeah. I acknowledge sometimes that like I know that there's certain things that are not right for me, but right. I will still do them. It's so trauma um, mm-hmm. supported. Like yeah. the wanting or like the addiction of being let it let down like totally i just it's so it's so bizarre to me the mm-hmm. way that trauma and like human psychology like go hand in hand with sex and relationships right. and you know family it's just it's so bizarre and i try to like constantly educate myself on that but um it doesn't matter how much we know about it though at the yeah, end of the at day, the end of the day it's, just, it's just engulfed in our yeah. subconscious and it's just, it's something that i truly believe comes with time and like something i've discovered about myself is anytime i've like cut someone off or like not felt good about something or like stepped away from something i always feel amazing yeah. and it takes i need to time. remember at that first it might oh my suck, god yeah. It, yeah i mean it takes time in the beginning but like you just got to know that like you deserve to feel good and like those little gut feelings like listen to them and trust yourself yeah Put yourself foist in love and get out of yourself. Like do do for other people. That always helps me. For sure. Okay. The next question is, how do I make my big toes prettier? Girl, have you ever heard of a pedicure? Pe- but you listen, pedicures can get expensive. So we're here to help. Get some cuticle oil. Get a file. File that girl down. Mm-hmm. Preferably a almond shape, if you will. Of the toes? Yeah. How do you make it almond shape? You just, you just round it, you mean? Yeah, with a little point. Because this is almond. There's no way you can make your toes look like that. Why not? <laughs> I mean, with a gel X extension, everything's right. possible. But that's actually a little expensive. Um, um, that's crazy. Soak your feet. Yeah, moisturize. Scrub. Promise. Um, I think the cuticle oil is fantastic because it'll strengthen the nail. Mm. Um, and I always, I always suggest a nice pinky nude polish. Yes, makes everything better. Yeah, I would whip my dogs out right now and show you, but Ugh, you got to pay for that. Yeah, for no, that. yeah, yeah, that's money. And like, if worse comes to worse, just put on a big sock, a big fuzzy one that has like little dangling. Little right, and no anything. one's gonna think about your disgusting toe. Drama, make a drama. Yes, and make it, make it knee high. Add it, make it sexual. Oh, toe socks. So you'll see the outline of the toe, but you don't get to see the actual toe. Oh, like a t- like a sock on each toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. Probably, <laughs> I'm like that's on my Amazon storefront. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> um, need, th- need. I'm quite literally begging to do gratitude. Like, please. <laughs> um, what are you grateful for, mother? I'm so grateful that we are here and we're looking cute. I'm grateful that we talked about self-respect. Yes. And I'm grateful that I will be practicing that. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I'm not going to go back on my word. But not and, if that guy um, likes my photos. Yeah, right. <laughs> if that dealer <laughs> that, likes your photos, that's... you have full permission to have no self-respect. Yeah, um, I'm grateful that I think I just found Trevi a new boyfriend. And <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I'm grateful that Megan Thee Stallion came out with a new song and music video. And so did Charlie <sighs> so XCX. Good. Don't know why we weren't in that music video, but that's fine. Um, Dude, it was. Did you see it? Ama- like the Alex Consano. I know. I just love. So I good. love her slang. I have always loved her. She's I so love good. like anyone trans like being slang and yeah. mainstream just being and like I just it girl. it's iconic and Blizzy McGuire and I think there's yes. also um, Richie. To, uh, oh yes, I love. There's Richie. so many like just iconic people yes. in that video and it was just like my girl Julia. It was so Julia. Oh, she looks so good. I. Truly love her so much. I can't wait until her music comes out. I know. It's going to slay. Yeah, we got some bops this week for sure. Yeah, we got some Oh my gosh. And like Meg's like probably going to give us a new album any second. Uh, Any moment. I'm just going to be listening to that on repeat because that's where I really get my self-respect from. So take it away. Um, I'm grateful I went to Cabo. I'm grateful I had my little vacation. Grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful I'm able to be here and be vulnerable and... Yeah. Say the things that are maybe uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, I love that we like. I'm very grateful that like this podcast has just such a dynamic of like really funny, but like really serious. We could also get really dark and really human. Like there's just so many. It's just very. There's a lot of. There's a lot of range with us, and I feel like we've shown it. so many parts about ourselves yeah. with the world. Um, and I think that's just such a really cool and beautiful thing. So if we ever do that live show, those people that cut co- like it's gonna be crazy. I, I, these people like know right. us to I our know. core, and I just I I want to know them too. So yeah. like I said, and in the, the stories will be more chaotic. Oh, one thousand percent. Yeah. So like I said in the beginning, fill out the thing in the description of this video. Um, let us know where you are if. 
we possibly were to do a tour. I'm not saying that it's like a thing. I just, I, I need to like, yeah. I need to gather some information right. and some analytics. We get in the lab. Um, let us know, please. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful I'm alive. I'm here. I'm loving you. Loving you, sis. Same sh- Grateful my hair is straight. Doy. Me too. Well, oh, I love it. But yeah, but we yeah, love you. Other than that, we fucking just adore you. Literally obsessed. Any last words? I just like, I'm really obsessed with you all. And thank you for coming back. And coming on my back. Ugh. Bah. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs>